Hello everybody, we're here at Chow New Beef Hot Pot. You might remember the video we did on Chow New when they were still at East Coast. They moved here to Duo Galleria and the restaurant is even bigger and swankier than before. Well, we've come back a few times already and I'm glad to report that the beef is still very good. So today, we are going to bring you into the kitchen to show you how he hand slices the beef. And we're also going to be trying some of the new and exciting xiao chi. Okay, so don't go away because you are going to find something new to eat. You mean new? No, no, new. Alright, so we are in the kitchen and this is Ala, the owner and the very passionate uh, beef uh, connoisseur and he's going to show us how he prepares the, the meat. This is the okay. okay. So this is the neck part of the beef. When you come to a Teochew Beef Hot Pot Restaurant, this is number one. So we will according to its strength. It actually has many parts. Okay. So we are going to this part. So when you're eating a uh, Teochew beef hot pot, the, the kind of the cuts of meat that you usually like to eat in, uh, let's say, Western restaurants or even Japanese restaurants, it's quite different. What you will order here at the Chow New Teochew hot pot, the meat here is hand sliced. Wow, look at the spread! Yeah, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the kitchen tour. We were behind uh, showing them how uh, Alec slices all the meat. So now we get to uh, see the result. So, we've got to show you how to start because there is a particular sequence. The first thing to you do is to drink the soup. They make a lot of effort to uh, boil the beef bones and for a long time. So, you want to first of all taste the sweetness, the natural sweetness of the broth. Mm. Oh, yes. I mean, even though the soup looks like clear, right? But there's already a depth of flavour. Yep. I mean, this is basically beef broth that's been, you know, boiled for many, many, many hours, right? Yeah. Uh, we want to introduce to you the, the new dishes, which is uh, the new side dishes. So here's a quartier. Wow, look at that. Ooh, oh, so juicy. The, the juices are already dripping off already. Now, we really like this one, right? So we are highly recommending this one. It smells good, huh? Okay, let's try. Mm, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No? Wow! <laughs> Usually it's pork or even chicken. I think beef works. Yeah, again, all very all handmade and everything, so very good. So this is the second xiao chi that they have, it's yeah. the oyster omelette. Oyster omelette. Why oyster omelette? Because oyster omelette is also a very chao shan kind of uh, cuisine, right? Yes. And where did he say that he got the oysters from? Uh, the oysters are from Putian. Oh. They're very small, uh, it's sweet. Got a nice flavour. So this one we will put the oxtail in first. Okay. Alright. So, so that they, they can't cook this already. Yeah, they will cook this. Okay. So you just want to put them into the soup because you add Try. add flavour. So see these tendons need to really get to your, your nice soft con consistency. For me, I would order the oxtail because I like that. I'm not a big fan of the tripe. Yeah. But the tendon is nice. Just throw in some veggie. Throw in some veggie first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we sweeten the soup. And my favourite black fungus. When you are here at the restaurant, you can actually request for them to cook your beef. Yes. So how come in Chao Shan, Teochew hot pot, right? Yeah. You eat the lean beef first, but then when it comes to Japanese yakiniku, right? Mm. We take the fatty meat first. <laughs> different different culture got different got different idea. Just now we were saying that the servers will come and help you, right? But then if you want to do it yourself, there's also some uh, help that you can have. Every plate of beef comes with this little tag, right? Yeah. And then the tag will have like, the number, what it is, and then how long you should uh, cook it for. This one okay. takes 15 seconds. And so right. this is number two. We didn't order number one. Nah. We didn't order number one. Okay. 14. 15. 15. Okay, done. Oh, wow. When it comes to sauces, right, uh, don't underestimate it. A lot of effort has gone into it. They make everything from scratch. I mean, mm. uh, the pork lard, the shallots, right? And then, yeah. of course, the sash ha is really very fragrant. This is one of the nicest sauces that you can have. Mm. have. It's, it's very well made. But I'm, I'm, I've got to go <laughs> for the beef. Shin. It's got a bit of chew. 
It's very nice, right? Yes, it's superb. Actually, shin beef, usually in Western cooking, we use it for stews because it's very tough. Yeah. But when it's sliced thin like this, yeah. it's got a very interesting texture. <laughs> Next, we're going to have the chick. I've never tried beef chick in uh, a hot pot before because beef chick usually takes a long cooking process to soften the meat. It's very good for stews. As I said in the kitchen, right, yeah. the owner, he keeps trying to source all these very interesting cuts of beef. So last time they never used to have beef chick but uh, he managed to find some. So now we get to try it. Lah. Eight, nine, ten. I'll have the left chick, you have the right chick. <laughs> The chick is a very bouncy. Very, very huh? chewy. Like, no, no, I won't say chewy, you know, it's tender, it's bouncy. Creme de la creme of uh, Teochew uh, beef hot pot, right? The, the most prized part is the neck. In Western cuisine, again, the neck is the last thing anybody wants to eat. Uh, you just put two slices on the neck. Here. Do you feel like saying some Teochew? Uh? Since yeah. you're eating Teochew cuisine, <laughs> uh, Say, no, no sassi. No la take boy cow top. There you go. Okay. Now this is the one that you all want to see. This is the there one. There you go. This is the one. To get to get the perfect uh, neck meat, right? Yes. Allah uh, actually tries all sorts of beef before he final finally decide on this one. Yeah, and this one I understand is uh, from US, so he's got all these are mainly uh, US beef. And the tendons and all are mainly from like Brazil, Argentinian uh, beef. Okay, so let me try this. Oh, nice man! <laughs> this is the flank, which is the belly. This oh. is almost like the belly of the cow. Yeah, oh. more like pork belly. That's why you see got three. <laughs> yeah, three different layers, right? This is also one of the the cuts that I like to order because uh, you get you you do get a nice bit of fat on it, lah. Is it the fattiest? Uh, no, still we still got one years. more. Yeah, we still got one more. But you know, having said that, flank is very commonly used in a lot of uh, steamboat places in Singapore okay. because it's it's very well marbled and it's actually very uh, not not a not an expensive cut of meat. I've got to introduce to everyone this brisket fat. This one he's been working on since the last time yeah. when we were at East Coast. We were yeah. discussing, and he said, "Oh, I really want to bring in the brisket." brisket yeah because it's um, very special. Mm. He finally managed to find a supplier to get the brisket. Now, this is basically the front part of the cow. So why does it look so fatty? Is it's it called xiong kou yu, no? Xiong kou yu ah? It's xiong kou. Oh. The fat that is in front of the cow. Oh, okay. For this one, uh -huh. you want to put it directly into the soup. Oh, how come? And this one will take three minutes oh, okay. to cook. Right. Okay, so it's in there. Okay, I think the um, the brisket is done. Mm -hmm. Super crunchy. It's super, yeah, it's super <laughs> crunchy. But as you as you crunch, all the beef flavor comes mm. out, right? Interesting texture. Mm. Yeah. And it's a very nice beefy flavor. So the final step to our beef hot pot experience is this live fun. All right. So when you are ready to eat your live fun, you you will tell them, and then they will also give you the special, give you the sauce, the yeah, special, special sauce. sauce. So you cook the live fun for yeah. one minute. Go for it. Mm. And this this live fun is very special. Mm -hmm. It's got this very nice texture. <laughs> yes. It's something that we always look forward to at the end of the our yes. meal here. Yeah. <laughs> it's very special. It's very, it's very it has a beautiful mm. bite to it. Yeah. yeah. So after a while you become a beef expert and you put something in somebody put something in your mouth, you can go, mm. Oh, this is the shank. Oh, this is the you know. <laughs> So the best way is to mix it up. If you want to have it dry, you can just mix and have it. But typically, you add a little bit of soup into it. Smell how how fragrant that shallot is. You know the freshly fried shallots. So I think we we will introduce you to uh, the, this whole uh, Chow new uh, concept. We've been to Chow Chow yeah. and we had the beef hot pot there. Yes. So the owner has uh, somehow come up with this whole idea of a beef hot pot and then he's modified it. So I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and uh, please come down to Duo Galleria and try out Chow New. This one we're very confident, you'll love the food here. Okay, Okay, happy eating and bye for now. Bye.